Every year, in addition to inducting great artists in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, we make a special effort to include individuals that have made significant contributions behind the scenes, without whom our magical, mystical, motivational art form would not have as much quality, depth, or longevity. This year, we have chosen to honor the amazing Bertrand Russell Burns, known as Bert Burns. He only had him for seven years before a damaged heart took him at the age of 38. But I will need the talking speed of Chris Matthews to mention all the accomplishments of this incredible songwriter, producer, and label boss in my allotted three minutes. So here goes. He wrote or co-wrote a little bit of soap, the Jarmels, twist and shout for the top notes, Isley Brothers and the Beatles. Cry to me and everybody needs somebody for Solomon Burke and the Rolling Stones. Down in the Valley for Solomon Burke and Otis Redding. Tell them for the Exciters, I'll take good care of you and cry baby for Garnett Mims and Janis Joplin. Baby, let me take you home, the animals for a single. Here comes the night for them, and a week later for Lulu. Wow. I want candy with and for the Strange Loves and Bow Wow Wow. Hang on slippy with the Strange Loves for the McCoys. Uh, you don't live for me, baby, for Freddie Scott. 25 miles for Edwin Starr and Peace of My Heart for Irma Franklin and Big Brother and the Holding Company. That's a partial list of the songwriter. As a producer, he took over as house producer at Atlantic from the extraordinary genius duo Jerry Lieber and Mike Stoller, a tough act to follow. But he helped the label through a tough time with his success with Solomon Burke and uh, gave the Drifters a third life with Under the Boardwalk and lots of other great things. Then for Luther Dixon over at Juan, he produced one of the greatest records of all time with Twist and Shout for the Isley Brothers, the first truly Afro-Cuban rock and roll mambo masterpiece. He had been to Cuba, but we don't have time for that. One of the few Americans to work in England, uh, Shel Ptolemy is the only other one I can think of, and maybe we'll talk about him next year. Uh, Burt Burns produced Here Come Tonight for both them and Lulu over in England. Some other cool things that came back. Produce Peace of My Heart for Irma Franklin and Brown Eyed Girl for Van Morrison. Yes. As a record label boss, he gave us the McCoys, Fred Scott, Irma Franklin. He introduced us to a new kid named Neil Diamond, brought in by Jeff Barry and Ellie Greenwich, and found Van Morrison living at home after them broke up and brought him over for Brown Eyed Girl and his first solo album, Blow In Your Mind, which he certainly did. Two minutes and 45 seconds, no bad. <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> present the Amon Erdogan Lifetime Achievement Award to Burt Burns and welcome him into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs>